Well, hello, Leo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, <clears throat> please like and subscribe. All right, Leo, so we're going to go ahead and start with some oracles, and then we're going to go into your tarot. Um, please excuse my nail. I literally just got my nails done, and it broke, so I got to go get it done again. Well, this dumb at least, so excuse me for that, okay? <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. This is going to be for Leo. All right. What is going on with Leo? Leo, at a crossroad, you have some decisions to make. It said you'll have to make a very important decision. This is maybe about a job, if you want to stay at a job, or if you want to move, or if you want to stay in a relationship, okay? Here is unlocking what was locked can now be open. So if things have been restricted or blocked, whatever that could be, you will have the key, okay? So this is like a treasure. I mean, because a key can open up treasure, can open up a lot of different things. We want to see how this is going to play a role in your tarot, okay? Here it says comfort. Your income is steady and your income is steady and living comfortably. So a lot of you, if you've been having problems with your finances, um, this is something that you can look forward to. But I feel like a lot of you, Leo, right now you're okay. You're okay. Some of you more than others. Some of you really got your, you really, you're living good. Okay. Especially if you see how this looks. Yeah, you're living good. Okay. <laughs> Some of you are actually on a beach or living on the beach or living next to the water, that type of thing. Here it says the rebel. Now I can see this with Leo, okay? He says limiting beliefs are limiting your abundance. So my thing is, is that mm, this could have something to do with maybe limiting beliefs can affect anything. It's not just abundance. It's not just finance. It's about what it is that you can obtain financially, your joy, that type of thing. So this has something to do with your thoughts, the way that you're thinking, okay? Maybe you feel like you're not good enough with something, you got to change your thinking pattern. That's what I'm seeing here with that limiting belief. Justice. So it says, make sure to be honest and ethical in money matters. And I also feel some of you could be in the, in the um, a police, but this is also letting me know that things are going to start balancing out for you. So if things have been wrong, people have done you wrong, that will be taken care of. Yeah. And I also like where it says something in your life needs to be brought into alignment. Yeah, so it could be some imbalance that you have to take care of. But I just feel like in general, everything is going to start balancing out. Last one. Exploring. Love it. You're exploring different potential paths to your success. All right. So I do see that exploring is kind of like the full card. So I do feel like, you know, you are taking a leap of faith to or you're just going to go out there. Um, there's certain things that you want to do. You're going to explore. You're going to go after it. Um, ex exploring is like excitement. Like it's something that's uncovered. So I just feel like um, you're discovering uh, things about yourself, your your money. I don't know. Explore is just kind of broad. You, you, you see me kind of struggling a little bit because I feel like well, this is kind of broad when it comes down to exploring. It could be with a person. I mean, it could be with a job. It could be traveling, right? So, but this is what I'm saying here. So, so far your cards are really, really good, okay? But you are at a crossroad with something. So we're gonna find out what that is, hopefully in the tarot. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. This is going to be with, for uh, Leo. That limiting belief, you gotta get rid of that. I feel like this is about what you feel like you can't, opt, can't, um, not obtain, but what you can't achieve, okay? You got to change your thinking patterns. This is going to be for Leo. Okay, these two came out. There you go. All right, so we have the lovers. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles. The Empress. Mm. At the Ten of Cups. This is about a love relationship, about a family. Some of you are at a crossroad trying to figure out if you want to stay in a relationship or not. Maybe you feel like something is missing from your connection. Some of you are separated from your person or you don't have anyone at all and you just feel like you just feel like something is missing from your life. Here with the Empress card, you know your worth, but you're so abundant. It's something about you 
Some of you could be mothers, fathers, could be single parents. Okay. And then this comes out anyway. You're going to be so happy. Oh, my God. Right now, I feel like you need to heal from the things that you've experienced. Okay. Now, this is past traumas, all types of stuff. Um, some of you, your health is in, in need of repair. So this is, you know, slow down on the carb, the carbs, eating too many carbs, drinking too much, that type of thing. Slow down. Okay. You're going to be so happy though, because I see family. I see the Empress in that Ten of Cups is making me feel children. I do see children for you in the future. Just a family life. That's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead. Let's get the lovers. I'm sorry. Let's get some more cards. I'm looking at the lovers card. Let's get some more cards for Leo. Oh, you got the Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness, Leo. You're about to get exactly what you want. It's going to be the partner that you want. Wow. Leo. New love. Whoa, Leo. You cutting things away. You're very guarded. You, you like people who are really smart. You're trying to detach from the past and focus on the future. That's what you're doing. And there's that justice card. This is your karm karmic justice. And you are going through a transition. You are going through a lot of changes. This reading is amazing. I'm just going to tell you. This reading is hands down amazing. You have love galore in this reading. You have abundance. But it's something about your life, your family life, your home life that's about to change. Your emotional Condition is about to change. I really do see you falling in love with someone. Oof, deeply here. I just and I see marriage. I just, and I see marriage here. Okay, for a lot of you, let's get the lovers. This is for Leo. So a lot of you in the past have been very disappointed about love, right? This is why I was saying some of you are at a crossroad when it comes down to your relationship or your connection. Do you want to even deal with the person? You know, is it just sex? You know, it, you know, is it a dead end? It's that type of thing. You've been very disappointed. <clears throat> and this is the reason why I said with that five of pentacles that, you, you know, something is missing from your life. Let's go ahead. Let's get it. This is a five of pentacles. Yeah, and it, to me, I feel like this could have something to do with someone from your past. Okay, a lot of you are missing someone from your past. Now, I also see here you got the Three of Pentacles and you got the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, your work isn't where you want it to be. Um, you, you're So seeing abundance and that comfortability probably should have been something that you should have been jumping up for joy about. Because a lot of you may have been having problems with your finances and you have children to take care of. And that's something that you may be worried about. OK, but that will change. Let's go ahead. Let's get the Empress. I see children here a lot. I do. I'm not going to lie. I see kids a lot in this reading. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Some of you are in love with a player. This is the reason why this Queen of Swords is here. Some of you are in love with a player or you, you're going to be falling for someone who's a player because this could also talk about future as well, y'all. Or you're married to one. Can I keep it real? Okay. The ace, I mean, the, the knight of wands isn't necessarily a player type of thing, but at the same time, you know, the queen of swords kind of showed me what this is all about. And also with that five, that five of cups. Look at this. What? What? How is this possible? You're cutting off someone who's just very selfish and inconsistent. A lot of you are about to get married or you're going into a marriage status. Like you're getting what you want. The Ten of Cups again? <clears throat> Clarified by the Ten of Cups and the Fool card? Getting your wish, which is a family, which is the love that you want. This is a part of your, your justice here. Your karmic justice. This is amazing. Let's go ahead. Let's get the nine of cups. Wow. Leo. Leo. You could be in love with an earth sign. 
somebody that you've been wanting to come in is coming in. Like I said, this could be, I'm not going to put that there, but this is someone that you, so this is a wish, right? This is a hope, a dream, and a wish. This is a wish fulfillment. This is someone coming in here. For a lot of you, this is someone new. And for a few, this could be someone that you know that's coming back from the past for a few of you, or you could be going back to someone from the past, depends on if the person is cross watching. Let's get the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I see past and new. When I tell you things are about to like totally, yeah, look at this. Somebody coming in here really, really fast. But you, you're you going to have to be very careful with this person because it looks like for some of you, you have more than one opportunity and it may not be at the same time, but you do. You have, you're have you going to have more than one opportunity, but it looks like someone from the past is going to most likely come back in here first. Someone that you've been wanting to talk to, it looks like. Let's get the Queen of Swords. Yeah. This is where I know that you're going to be cutting away someone who's inconsistent. So it does look like someone that you've been dealing with or someone that you know who's been, um, who has a third party is going to get cut away. Yeah, and you're just going to completely detach and move on. See, you cannot, you can no longer stay in, in denial. That's what I'm saying here. This is one, that's the reason why the death card is at the bottom of the deck. It's over and done. This is about to be over and done. You're not going to deal with this anymore. Let's get some love. Let's get some romance. Not romance cards, but some oracle cards. Let's get a few more here for Leo. So like I said, let's get grab these really quickly. There's going to be you being at a crossroad. Okay. This is enlightenment, which is what I'm kind of seeing with relationships. Stop, you know, limiting your beliefs about who you are as a person. You will have comfort. There is going to be justice done when it comes down to you and uh, your life, just in general. Things are going to start balancing out. You need to start balancing out. That's what it looks like, right? You're going to start exploring to find your happiness. This is a turning point, okay? That's what this really is. Don't be addicted to, to a toxic person. Even though right now you may be in love with someone, it may not be worth it right now. I mean, it may not be the, they're not the type of person or the person that you will be with in this lifetime. Okay. Even though you may have a strong bond, it's just not going to happen in this lifetime here. Um, there's going to be a big change. That's what this is. Big change. Get ready for it. And that's what you're looking at here with the death card. Okay, so this is what I have for you here, Leo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you back here again soon. Bye.